in this video we got a nice little scheme for y'all in NCAA 25 that is damn near impossible to stop out of the gun white offset you can find this in florida international Do old dominion usf beer and shoot oklahoma tennessee and utah now it's really just one play that is damn near impossible to stop which is the play wheels but we're going to show you when to do one of these one of these run plays whichever one you prefer the old one trap the speed option um honestly all you need is the regular inside zone mixed in with this play wheels this play right here as a default play is already tough to deal with but we're going to show you how to make it even harder to deal with so let's go ahead and jump to the practice field and show you how we set this up all right so this is one of those plays that's just hell to deal with even as a stock play i'm going to show you you can quick snap this and you're going to get good results we're going to be looking for x every single time once he makes his cut just kind of lead this up and that's going to beat all zone coverages and if you have a good route runner it will beat man coverage now real quick it really doesn't matter what hash you're on um but to get the best results if you're on the right hash you want x on that route to be on the wide side of the field so you're going to want them to the left if you're on the left hash have them to the right side of the field but again it really does not matter but i'm going to show you how to make this that much more op so what i like to do is put the running back on a streak motion them over um and then i like to put a on a drag b on a uh, a deep dig and then we're gonna stem route x up once or even twice but once is enough and this is gonna make this play so difficult to stop this literally beats all defenses if they go try to help x a and b are gonna get open you can even go as far as stem routing b down one or you can even just put them on a quick in route like this um, it really doesn't matter. You just want two good check downs coming across the middle. But I promise you, if they don't go help on X, X is going to get open every single time. This is what it's going to look like. Once he makes his cut, you're just going to lead it up like this. The, the running back is going to clear out. And that is exactly how I get a lot of one play touchdowns just like that um, with this specific route. And you can even stem it up one more if you want to. Um, what makes this route so hard to, de uh, to deal with is because unlike the post route on the right side you there you're basically going straight to the safety this route from x is going up and then it's going to cut off in a flat line so the safety can't really react to it like a post route like they would a post route and that's what's making this op again you can stem this up twice if you want to and you don't even need to motion the running back over um but i, I would still put a and then i would put b on that deep dig um to have two good check downs but even without trying to full out uh you know full the safety once he cuts Again, the safety is not going to be able to react to it because he flatlines and he's not going towards it to safety like a post would be. But 100%, this is the best setup right here. Um, you can even motion over a receiver if you want to, if you want to keep the running back in the backfield. But it'll look something like this. Stem this up. Again, put him on a deep dig. This is the setup right here that is damn near impossible to stop. If it's man coverage and if you have a burner, Y will get open over the top a lot of times for a one-play touchdown. But again, we're going to be looking for X. But look, A's wide open in the middle. B gets open in the middle. And if you wait even longer, you got X in the middle of the field. This is it, it, this is one of the best plays in NCAA right here, especially when you set it up like this. And then now I want to show you when you're going to want to go ahead and audible to a run and get easy yards running the inside zone. All right, so if you ever see just a single sub linebacker slash linebacker in the middle of the field around the D-line or the O-line, a thousand percent switch to your run play. I think it's just best to have the inside zone. Honestly, that's just my opinion, but you can have the 0-1 trap. You can have the RPO, whatever you think is going to be better for you. But usually what happens is they, they're going to double team the D tackle towards the way you're going to run, and then they're going to go um, the left guard or the right guard on that side is going to go break off and pick up that linebacker. So usually this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see he picked them up. It's like a guaranteed five yards. If you got good stick work, and if that's the user in the middle of the field, it's a lot easier to make a miss. But usually this is what's going to happen right here. He's going to block. He's going to uh, double team, break off, and go pick up that sub linebacker slash linebacker. Um, so if you ever see one linebacker just in the box, that's when you're going to audible to your run. Even if there's two, because usually the, the linebacker is going to be on the side where the running back's at. And usually you can just kind of lead this all the way to the outside and then hit like a juke and get easy yards a lot of times i break for like 20 yards 30 yards before i get tackled by a safety or something but that's when you're going to want to audible to your run but I, because i promise you if they're in man coverage this is what it's going to look like and um if they're in zone coverage they're not going to be able to stop x and if they go and try to stop x themselves a is going to get open b is going to get open and then your y receiver will get open too over the top especially if it's a cover uh just a regular cover too y can easily get open for a nice little, little one play touchdown but this is going to be a simple scheme you're either going to do the pass play or you're going to do the run play and i promise you you're going to get downfield and get easy touchdowns all right so let's go ahead and get into this right here let's see what we can do um i'm going to stem route this x right route up once 
Bring it back on a streak. Motion I'm over. Are we gonna have time? I think we have time. All right, cool. Boom, X right there on that cut. Was that man coverage? It, which it does beat man coverage too, especially if you have a good wide receiver running that. Uh, no, nah, he was a cover three match. Regardless, man coverage, cover three match. Like this route is so hard to stop. Um, did we stem it up? Okay, it's not letting me stem it up. That's fine. You don't even need to stem it up. That's just how crazy it is. So we're gonna do this again. It looks like. Maybe a zero blitz. So if that's the case, we're going to go for the drag route. It is a zero blitz. I'll take the easy money. I'm taking that all day. Like right here is a good example. He's only got one linebacker in the second, uh, second level. If my left guard can pull off the D tackle and go to that linebacker, we're golden. Oh, I just went the wrong way. But that's exactly what I meant right there. That that's where this is even just that much deadlier. Like if they come out in a formation that is just one linebacker in the middle, I'm taking my run all day. Like again, right here. All right, look, he's switching it up. He has to. All right, again, look, just one linebacker in the second level. So we're gonna audible to our run play. And again, the left guard should pull off the D tackle and go pick up that guy. Oh, look at that. Good blocks. Good blocks. Yeah. This, this see, this is where it's just gonna be tough. Like. The fact that you have to make sure you have somebody to help you, like this is where it's gonna get tough. It looks like we might have a zero blitz here. Um, this is what we're gonna do. Motion out the running back, and I'm gonna put him on a zig route. I'm gonna put A on a zig route, and we're gonna deep dig X. We're just gonna look for one of the zigs. No reason to overthink this. We got A, taking that all day. Don't overthink it. Whenever they're in there, when they're in a zero blitz, just like money plays, don't force it. This formation is just it's just so difficult to stop. And then having this exact play is just insane. So we're gonna go ahead and um actually we're we're going for the run right here. I, I like my odds right here for this run. Could go in his favor, but I think we good if we get good blocks, we're in there. Oh yeah, cut it out. Yep. Once I seen the two DBs come in, like I just, I already knew just to rotate outside. All right, we're back on offense. Let's see what we can do again. All right, so he does have a little bit more help, but I still think we can run on this. I really do think we can still run on this. Um, let's see what happens. Yeah, he's backing up. He actually played it pretty good that time. I'm gonna do this, this. I still want X right here, but it just depends on how fast he gets to me. Oh, we got that. Oh yeah. Let's go. Don't sleep on Y too. Uh, you can hit Y. Look at that. Boom, wide open. He don't know what to do with his user. He don't know what to do with his user. Remember, it's a good run formation. And he don't got he don't got the right players out there right now. He's not set up. This is easy money right here. Unless he's uh run blitz, run committing. That's easy money right there. Easy money. We got us a nice little pick. Um I'm gonna try to run this without stemming it, but we're still gonna do the same thing. Go ahead and do this. Oh, uh, we're still gonna look for X, but I know he's probably gonna be watching for it, so I'm gonna see what his user does. Might have to hit. Let's act. Can we stem this down a little bit? All right, I like this because I know his user. Okay, yeah, we got B. We got B. The rock combos are just crazy. The rock combos are just crazy. Okay, line it down. We're gonna go for the run. I mean, it's hard to defend the run. It is. Look at that. Nowhere to help. Oh, get, get in there. Get in there. That was a little bit of, you know, the, the running back doing this thing, but just not enough help you, because the, the, the formation is so wide. Like, and then you have to worry about all these route combos and then you just get the open gaps to the touchdown. This, this, this formation is OP with these run plays and these pass plays. All right. We got Auburn up next again. Look, possible run potential right here. So we're going to audible to our run play um, and just going to read that linebacker and kind of pick my gap. Right up the middle. Good, good plays by that DT. Good good plays by that DT. Let's line down. If he gives me the same look, I'm going to show y'all. Y'all can, hey, if they don't want to adjust their defense, they don't want to bring a safety down. There you go. See, now, go back. Go ahead and get our stem up. Motion on running back out. Everything's done. Everything's done. We're looking for X. Looking for X. 
Man coverage. Man, his zone, his uh, vert hook in the middle was playing super deep. Again, just one linebacker. We're going to audible to our run every single time. Uh, let's get a DT right here. Um, and again, you just got to read that linebacker and just pick your gaps. Pick your gaps every single time. We're going to take that easy money. Every time they have a solo linebacker in the second level, that's when we're going to do it. All right, he brought an extra linebacker. Same thing. Go ahead and do this. Uh, might look for A right here. I wonder if he's in man coverage again. He's not. He's got a zero blitz. Oh, come on. You got to hold on to those. You got got another solo linebacker set up, so we're going for it. We're going for a run, 100%. This just looks like cover two man, two safeties deep. They're not going to help in the run game. Oh, that's bad. That's a bad. Oh, we just made up for it, though. We made up for it. That was bad. Gap shoots by me. All right, now we got now we got him putting more in the box. Another thing you can do if you don't want to motion the running back out, just put him on a Texas route like this. Now, he's not going to clear out the safety, but he should keep the user in the middle of the field. Got X right there. You see, that's just that was a little unnecessary. That was just a little. You don't need to catch it like that. We go again. Same thing. I'm just going to put him on a Texas route. I'm not too worried about the safety. Now, if this was a post, then it would be different. Like the right side, the safety could pick up th that post. But because he flatlines it, like he, he cuts real quick. Oh, we got a Texas route. Yes, he, oh, bro, what, what's going on? Drop passes left and right. Come on, man. Make the catch. Let's get going. All right, same thing. So he's standing man coverage. I mean, honestly, if he's going to be running man coverage, well, we're going to do some simple stuff. Let's do some zig routes. Let's do some zig routes. Where's the zig on this side? Can I not put him on a zig route? That's all right. This is what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We'll clear you out. Put the running back on a zig. There we go. Most likely going to go to the running back. Yep. Wide open. Easy money. Easy money. Line it down. Let's see if we can get a good look with the run play. Let's see if we get a good look. Even if there's two linebackers, I think we still take it. I think we still take it. So the safeties are a little closer. Technically, still one linebacker still, so we're going to go for it. Good pickups. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, now we're going to go for this 0-1 trap. Now, I feel like we could probably get one of these guys. Now, this is risky. I could throw a pick here, but we're going to see what happens. If he, yeah, they backed up way too much. That's easy money right there. 